Hi you guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I have a special video for you guys with once again the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. And today I'm posting another tutorial with this palette just because it launched today on Sigma.com. So from today on you can go onto Sigma.com and you can buy the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette on there. And in my last video which I did with this palette I showed you guys how versatile the palette was but I only did one look with it so I thought why not make another look with it, make something completely different. This is more of kind of like a fall type of party, cold dark look, like more the things which I wear like every day, but the previous look was something like more for every day for other people. But I wanted to show you guys that opposed to a very pink look which looked all cute and all, you can also create this look. And so once again from today on you can buy this palette. I will have a link down in the video description and you can use code ENERGYNINE10 to get 10% off of your Sigma Beauty purchases. But please be aware if you do use the link or my code or both. I do get a small percentage of the sales which are made so if you don't want to support me but you do want to buy the palette you can do that. Just don't use the links and the codes but you will be a huge help to me and we will keep this channel going. So without any further ado, if you want to see how I created this look using this cute little palette, then please keep on watching. As you guys can see, I already did the eyeshadows on one eye and I did my whole base and my eyebrows and everything. Just because I have a separate video coming up on that, on how you can cover some mild acne and some blemishes. So today we'll be only be doing the eyes. First thing I'm going to be doing is um, laying down a white base on my eyelid. And for that I'm going to be taking the Humble Eye Shade onto a Sigma eye shading E55 brush and just packing that on there I'm just going to be putting it over the lid so we have a nice base and as you can see today I'm not using any eyeshadow primers just because I'm not going to be wearing this eyeshadow all day long but if you want to you can do that I like to use the um, Sigma eyeshadow base in Persuade it's a really really pretty one and it cancels out the redness on your eyes so you can use that one or whichever one you like. And next up I'm going to be taking the Toasty shade onto a MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to be building up the crease color with this. So I'm just packing this into the crease as you can see and then just blending it away. And I'm going to be taking my time with building up the crease just because I want a really intense look. The Sigma eyeshadows are not the most pigmented eyeshadows in the world, but they are the easiest to work with. So it just takes a little bit more time to get the pigment to where you would want it. And as you can see, the technique which I like to use for this is just taking some eyeshadow onto my brush and then laying it into the outer V and then blending it in just so that we have the most concentrated amount of eyeshadow on the outer part and not somewhere in the middle or on the beginning of your eye and now for the top lid I have the pigmentation which I want it took about three layers to get there but it looks absolutely stunning and now I'm just going to be taking a little bit more onto the brush and apply it on the lower lash line just so we can keep a balanced type of look. And just blend it out far, get it nice and smoky. Next up I'm going to be going into the After Hours eyeshadow and I'm going to be packing this on with a small taper blending E45 Sigma brush. Just take up some and I'm going to be laying this in the outer V. Just go over that toasty eyeshadow and back on that color. As you can see the pigmentation of this eyeshadow is a lot more intense than some of the other ones. Which I really like, especially with a shade like this, you want that pigmentation, you want the color to show. But that also gives a tiny bit of fallout, so watch out. And I'm just kind of tapping this around to blend it a little bit. But I will be going in with the blending brush in a few. But I just want to get the pigmentation in the outer V as intense as possible. 
And with the leftovers in the brush, I'm going to be going onto my lower lash line. And I'm going to be going for a very dramatic type of under eye today, something that you may not really see in my tutorials. But today we're going for a small key look and just going that little step extra. So to blend this out, I'm going to be taking my Sigma E25 blending brush. This is from the Nightlife set, so you can see that the handle is nice and sparkly. And I'm just going to be going over the line where the two eyeshadows meet to blend them together. And as you can see, this is just a brush without any product on it and it blends it so easy. So on the lower lash line. Now, because of the blending, I wiped away some of the pigment from that after hours eyeshadow. So I'm just going to be going in again with the same small tapered blending brush and just pack it on again a little bit. So we have the color back into our crease. And in between, I'm just applying some uh, lip conditioner because my lips are so dry. Now next up we're going to be applying some shimmer onto our eyes. For that today I used the Bittersweet eyeshadow and I applied that with the eye shading E55 brush by Sigma as well. And these shimmer shades are so pretty. Normally I would always have to apply it with my finger but these ones with just a little brush are doing amazing. As you can see. And I'm just applying this up until my crease to like the, the half of my eye and it just also gives that kind of like that semi cut crease type feel to it but without having to do all of the concealer work and everything. To blend the after hours and the bittersweet eyeshadow together I'm going to be taking that small taper blending E45 brush again and taking just a little bit of the after hours eyeshadow I'm just stepping it in between those two eyeshadows just so we can have like a very smooth blend between the two of them. And now that the top eye part is blended all nice, I'm just going to be cleaning my Sigma Blending E25 brush a bit on my hand just to get some of the product off and just blend in that lower lash line once again. It's because we don't want any harsh lines there. So as you can see for the eyeshadows right now we are done, like I said this is a very quick cute glam type of look which looks like slate and glam and all but it really only just takes 3 eyeshadows and this palette and you're good to go. So next up I'm going to be applying some mascara, for that I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to be applying some lashes, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Giselle lashes so I'll just do that and then I will be back in a few to finish off the rest of my face. So as you can see I just applied the lashes, some mascara and everything so now it's time to move on to highlighter. For that today I'm going to be using... The for that today I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Opal Highlighter which I have in this little cute type of travel size and I'm going to be taking my Sigma Tapered Highlighting F35 brush and just taking some of it up there I'm just going to be lightly putting some onto my cheekbones bending it out a bit same on the other cheek here and I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics brush from whatever palette it came from and I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes a bit with that brush. Now because the Becca Cosmetics Opal Highlighter is a bit too dark for my skin tone, I can't really highlight my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose with it. I'm going to be taking the MAC Cosmetics Light Scapade Highlighter and just going here with my finger a little bit. I can highlight these parts of my face. Then going back with that highlighter brush which we just used to kind of fluff it out a bit and also get some of the gold highlighter again from the back I mixed with the lighter one. 
For the final step, it is onto the lips right now. I want to keep it a bit more in the brown neutrals family instead of going for a red and a pink one, but I like always wear a nude brown one. But today I'm going to be taking the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. So this is what it looks like when I have the lips on. I really like the color, I really like the formula as well just because I have very, very dry lips during the winter and this one just gives my lips a bit more hydrated throughout the whole day. So that concludes today's tutorial you guys. Once again you can now buy the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette on Sigma.com. I will leave a link down below and you can use my code ENERGYNINE10 for a 10% discount on your Sigma purchases. Um, you can use that code in the link if you want. I do get a small percentage of the sales when you use my link and the code which I have. Um, so please be aware of that if you don't want to support me then don't use the link but this palette is definitely a great addition to your kit it just offered so much versatile looks like you can see this look and the previous looks I did are two different worlds but they came from the same palette and you just saw how well it all blended and everything so it's definitely a huge recommendation from me as for now thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial Bye-bye.